In science, studying human experiences typically requires time, money, and of course, human participants. But as large language models, such as OpenAI's GPT-4, have grown more sophisticated, some people in the research community have been steadily warming to the idea that artificial intelligence could replace human participants in some scientific studies. Indeed, there are many doomsday predictions in the media that AI will replace jobs and allow computers to take over the world. But this time, it is about the white collar job. I think it's gonna, if we could go see what each of us can do 10 or 20 years in the future, I think it would astonish us today. Yeah. Um, if, you know, it's like maybe in a few years, it's like each of us has like a great chief of staff or uh, like PhD student or whatever analogy you want that's off like helping us optimize ourselves. In a talk with MIT president, Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, shared his views about the future of AI. He said that AI is going to reach PhD level intelligence and will act like expert researchers. But this was not the only time he said it. Instead, he advocates about it quite a lot. We just wanted to like push AI research forward. Okay. We thought that I can totally imagine a world where we build PhD level intelligence in any area. And you know, we can make researchers way more productive. Maybe we can even do some autonomous research. And in some sense, like, that sounds like it should change the world a lot. And I can imagine that we do that, and then we can detect no change in global GDP growth for like years afterwards, something like that. He believes that these AI researchers will make humans more productive and will even do some research on their own. Well, the thing is, we might be closer to this future than we think we are. Recently, there was a leak from OpenAI about Project Strawberry, previously known as Project QSTAR. So yes, another day and another leak from OpenAI. To recap, QSTAR was rumored to be an internal search algorithm at OpenAI, which got leaked back in March. It aimed to enhance logic and reasoning, possibly even acting as an internal prompting strategy. There's a lot of speculation, but the consensus is that Strawberry is built on these ideas. OpenAI may have a juicy secret. Reuters sources say a project codenamed Strawberry is in the works. Details are top secret, even within the firm, but it's thought to promise advanced reasoning abilities far beyond current models. According to a recent Reuters blog post, OpenAI is using this project to enhance its AI reasoning capabilities. Reuters is a reliable source, so we can trust the accuracy of this information. In addition to this article, there have been other demos from OpenAI that showcase their advancements in AI reasoning. One significant demo discussed in a Bloomberg blog post highlights how OpenAI's GPT-4 AI model is demonstrating human-like reasoning. This has led to speculation that the technology in these demos might be related to Project Strawberry. However, Reuters clarified that they couldn't confirm if Strawberry was the specific project being demonstrated. This suggests that OpenAI might have multiple projects focused on improving AI reasoning. Now, you might be wondering, what actually Strawberry do, and how is it going to replace the researchers? Well, this new project, which might be the same as the previously codenamed QSTAR, aims to perform what OpenAI calls deep research. Unlike current AI tools that can only answer questions, Strawberry would be able to plan ahead and navigate the internet on its own. This means it would be more like a human, capable of thinking and reasoning, not just fetching information and generating text. Currently, AI can handle repetitive tasks, solve complex equations, and even discover new patterns in data much faster than humans, but it still relies on human intuition and creativity for breakthroughs. But if AI can get a hold of mathematics, then it could make independent mathematical discoveries, build new models, and solve problems without human help. This progress might one day allow AI to fully take over the role of researchers. Interestingly, the details about Strawberry are strictly kept secret even within OpenAI, and it's still in development, so it won't be available to the public anytime soon. But one thing that caught my attention in all of this is that such a project like Strawberry falls into a category called agentic AI, or AI agents. This kind of AI is designed to have agency, meaning 
meaning it can make its own decisions. On the other hand, the CEO, Sam Altman, has been mentioning for a while that AI could one day conduct autonomous research. Plus, if we look at the past few years, we can see OpenAI has been focused on reasoning and autonomous research as well. With the recent leaks of Project Strawberry, OpenAI's goal seems to be achieved. Nevertheless, the race to develop and release agentic AI is on, and it's poised to be the next big thing in AI. Even big companies like Google, Meta, Microsoft, and OpenAI are all working on agentic AI, but it's unclear how close they are to releasing it. Imagine the impact if AI could reduce the time and cost to create PhDs. Right now, there are around 8 million PhDs worldwide. If AI can help produce them more efficiently, we could see a dramatic increase, potentially speeding up scientific advancements. So, if we're approaching a point where AI can perform reasoning and research independently, we might be nearing a significant milestone. However, scaling this technology remains a challenge. Building enough data centers and the required infrastructure takes time, money, and resources. There's also speculation that we could achieve artificial general intelligence and artificial superintelligence in quick succession. Some experts predict AGI by 2027, but if Strawberry and GPT-5 are as advanced as rumored, we might see AGI sooner. It's all speculation at this point. Whether this leak turns out to be a game changer or not, it's clear that we're in for some exciting times ahead in the AI world. So that's my take on the Strawberry leak. What do you think? Share your thoughts and check out these videos on your screen for more interesting AI-related content.